Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday because today is Sunday, but also happy whatever day you're watching this. I feel like the bags underneath my eyes are enormous. Because... <laughs> Because I've been home for about two weeks, like my sleeping has just been out of whack and this would work had I been starting my job on the night shift, but I'm not. As we're speaking about my job, tomorrow I have to go there to get my final varicella shot and I'm going to be cleared to continue my orientation, which I'm so, so excited about. So I don't know if I'm going to get to stay tomorrow when I do go because that office does not open until 8 and just a lot of back end things so maybe i'll just start afresh on tuesday but whatever it is i'm very excited because i'm sick of being in this house okay sick i'm also not gonna lie i'm not thrilled about being outside in this hot ass weather but one thing about me i love to work i don't know if i love a job but i love working because working essentially means that somebody is going to be paying me and i love getting paid <laughs> so um Yes, I thrive off of productivity, and so I feel like that is essentially one of the reasons why I love working. I did say in, I think, my last vlog or so a couple of days ago that I'm going to be washing my hair. I did wash my hair, and I ended up um, blow-drying it and just doing a little braid on the end. Can I take it off? Doing just one braid on the end so I can wrap the braid up. I can um, wrap the braid up to make myself a little bun, which I quite love a low bun. So... Tonight when I'm going to bed, I think I'm going to just slick it down in the bun that I want so that tomorrow morning when I wake up, it's definitely ready to go. So that's exciting. So, um, yeah, I washed my hair. I did also say that closer to the end of the week today, Sunday, the new week has started today, I'm going to, um, cook so that, um, we will have food for the coming week. I don't know how my tomorrow is going to be structured, which is Monday, so I don't, I mean, whatever time I come home, I should have some time to still make a meal, but right now I'm making, or I've made some rice and peas and curry chicken. When I'm done, I'm going to just put a picture on the screen, because I honestly cannot be bothered right now to go in there and, like, put the camera over the pot to show you guys the rice and peas and curry chicken, like, so... If all went well, there will be a picture on the screen right here as I'm talking about the rice and peas and the curry chicken so you guys can see what it looks like. I made that. I think I'm going to make some vegetables. Probably need to jump on that. When I make that type of dinner like rice and peas, I rarely ever make rice and peas because, God, it just takes a little bit to cook. It's not like white rice, how you just steam it and it's done. The peas in America are hard. <laughs> the peas in America are hard. So I'm cooking the peas for forever. I've been soaking the peas since last night and it's just, just... Okay, but whenever I make rice and peas and just anything else, especially if I make some like raw veg on the side, it is so nostalgic and it reminds me of Sundays at home back in Jamaica with my mom. Love, 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 because on Sundays she really throws down two different meat. Just the whole works. If you're Jamaican, you know, if not, oh, you're missing out on quite the experience. But um, yeah, I made that. I haven't started eating yet because while it is still very early, it's still early and tonight I want to go to bed early and break the streak of just sleeping shitty with these big ass bags underneath my eyes so I'm thinking I'm gonna go to bed around 9 10 cuz I'm gonna mm -mm, maybe 10 11 because it's one thing about me if I go to bed too early I'm gonna wake up early so I'm gonna go to bed at maybe 10 11 and um after I go to bed at like 10, 11, I want to wake up for like 6, 45-ish to like start moving around and getting ready so that babe could um, drop me at the hospital. So there's that. I decided that I'm going to wear my scrubs tomorrow just in case they tell me that I um, can stay. Then, you know, I'm already in the appropriate attire. I did buy some um, professional wear, but I didn't even get into that. Hopefully tomorrow when I come home, I can... Uh, it's not even it's not even but um yeah that is really how my sunday is structured so far just hair i cooked and um 
right now I'm just relaxing. It is currently, did I say what time it was? It's 4 o'clock right now and the cooking is done and everything, which is pretty early and I'm very thrilled. But there isn't really much going on for the rest of the evening and not for the rest of the night. Maybe later on I'll have like a glass of wine. Maybe not. I don't really know. And just relax to wind down for like my last night. Or like my last day at home per se but um yeah i'm watching some youtube videos and just relaxing and now i gotta go turn the air on because this you see that's what i'm saying about like not being excited let me see what the weather is gonna be like for this week oh my god it's getting brutal right now it's 81 but they said that this week ranges between 74 Tomorrow is like between 74 and like 93, 90, and Tuesday is like 79 to 93. Oh, Tuesday's gonna be a hot ass day, bro. But the one good thing is that instead of the hospital, so my battery just died. But before the battery died, I was basically seeing that the one thing about the hospital is it's very, very cold. So no matter what the temperature is outside, you're definitely gonna be cool on the inside. So I'm gonna, um, oh, shh. To buy those straw covers for my for my coffee cup but um you're always gonna be cool inside the one thing I wanted to make sure that I got when I was buying my scrubs is like the loaded jackets so that you know inside there I could be um just a little bit cozier a little bit warmer you know so I bought those so that's good I have those but um I'm gonna go because it's hot <laughs> So I came back for the orientation and I started, but they sent me on a 30 minute break. I got my ID and everything, so with a 30 minute break I'm just sitting in Duncan having, I guess, some pick me up. And to be able to actually work when I go back. I have a canola bar in my bag, but I just bought a sausage, bacon, egg, and cheese on a croissant. Just so. I could like eat all, some of it now and like a little bit later and I had a banana but um, for the most part I'm just sitting down when I go back I go back to the lab to draw real people's blood it's kind of nerve-wracking but that is indeed what I went to school for the man asked me how I felt about drawing blood and I told him you know I feel like I need some practice but outside of that I feel pretty decent about it so we'll see how that goes. I think tomorrow when I come back, I also come back to the lab, but anything that takes me out of the apartment, I'm here for it. So I'm on lunch for one hour. I drew um, six people's blood and I did one EKG and I feel good. I feel like I'm ready. Initially I was nervous, but I feel like now I'm like, you know, now that I've done it a couple of times and I watched them before I even attempted, I feel like I'm actually ready and I could work, so that's exciting. Hi y'all, it's night time. Today was my first day of the orientation and I didn't even come in and say anything because they picked me up from, from work and, well, my second day of the orientation. Today was in the lab. I did 11 blood draws and one EKG, which was great. Tomorrow, go back to the lab again and that, excuse me, tomorrow, go back to the lab again and that concludes my lab time. And then we're moving on, which so grateful for. The people in the lab are so, so nice. I did have a few that were harder um, to get. And, of course, the people were there to help us with it and stuff. So that was great. But all in all, it was a really good experience. We got an hour and 30 minutes break out of the whole shift, which, love that. So I just sat in the Dunkin' for the most part today. And, um, yeah, but when I came home, we went and bought Chipotle and starbucks and now i'm here about to go to bed so that tomorrow i can be up bright and early and full of energy to go do the same thing all over again but tomorrow i feel a little bit more excited about tomorrow because i know what i'm doing now so um that's great but i at least wanted to come and you know tell you guys what my experience was with like um the first day of like really doing something being in the lab drawing blood labeling this that it's a whole production but it's very worth it and the people who are there teaching us they are amazing i feel like we couldn't have had better people teaching us so that was great um yeah that's what the experience was like right now i'm going to tie my hair because i do not feel like combing it tomorrow
and I'm gonna go to bed. I also got my ID today. It looks so much cuter than my last job. Gosh, so grateful for that. Better camera quality and all, but it's nicer. And I know I'm gonna be stuck with it for a long, long time. So I made sure that my hair was cute because I knew that there was a possibility that I would have been getting the ID today. So there's that. I'm about to put some camera on my lips. And really, honestly, go snug up in bed because tomorrow I'm waking up at, I think, 5.30. So I have enough time to um, get ready and like still make it there on time even though baby's going to drop me. But um, yeah, I don't want to chance it and get up at 6 o'clock because I feel like that doesn't really give me enough time to make a bowl of cereal if I want to do that. So 5.30, um, yeah. But that's all. I think we should be leaving here about 6.15 tops. So yeah, that sounds like enough time. But um, because this morning I got ready really really quickly I woke up at because I had to get there for 8 so I woke up at 6 30 and that was good enough time to um do all that I needed to do and to get there but I'll update you guys as time progresses so you know I'll let you guys know how it's going how I'm liking it so far I love it but that's just one day so we'll have to see